Today is the day that we are going to build a bull snake habitat. But before we get into that, guys, I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Reptiles. One thing I do want to say, um, as some of you may have seen on the news, uh, the Midwest got rocked by a whole lot of tornadoes, including uh, the city that I live in. So my prayers go out to all the families affected. And uh, if y'all need anything, um, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, it was truly a horrific day on Friday uh, a week ago. And uh, it's just, there were so many houses destroyed. There are still lots of people missing. So Please make sure to make yourself safe and uh, get a hold of your loved ones or uh, reach out if you need help. But on to happier notes, guys. Um, today we are going to be building a bull snake habitat. Um, I've been going through redoing um, all the enclosures. Ow! Just touched the back of the hot glue gun. Ow! That was not cool. But we're starting to get misting heads in. Oh, look, and I'm, I'm dangling hot glue from the back of my hand. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to do kind of a hardscape, uh, and so I wanted to talk to you about it, and we're gonna build it together. Um, one of the biggest things, so this is uh, sandstone here. Um, the biggest thing is making sure that everything kind of fits into place. I kind of played with it a little bit um, before we started this, but Let's get into it. We're gonna squeeze some of that there, and squeeze some of that there. And then we're gonna set that in place. Now, you may ask why I'm not, why I'm using hot glue. A, because it is much easier to break than uh, silicone is. This may be a permanent bull snake enclosure. It may not be. Um, but what we're doing and why we're securing this is because snakes like to dig. And so with that, we wanna make sure that nothing shifts. Now, I did not sell or hot glue the bottom rocks down. That way, if I ever need to remove this stru structure, I can. Um, oh, look, we need more. I need more hot glue. Do, 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 do. Um, oh, going to your home. But so now we have that. Uh, we're gonna keep building it up, and it's just it's just a matter of playing with it to see kind of what looks good. We got, like I said, this is all sandstone here. Um, there is gonna be a big plant in here that comes out this way, a big tree. Um, so I want to make sure that there's a spot back there for all the soil and all the roots. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. I like that. Another reason why we are not using, um, silicone is it takes 24 hours to dry. Um, whereas this with a little bit of water, um, you can actually dry this almost instantly. So we got that. And you may ask what that is. So that's actually covering the drain. Let's see. I think we're going to branch it out. Cause I also want to give <coughs> the, uh, the bull snake places to climb. So kind of crevices and so we're purposely leaving that gap because that's going to be for the branch. Get some of that in there. Uh, the hot glue that I'm using is industrial strength um, and it's clear. I don't like using colored ones um, because for whatever reason, if if you can see some of the silicone, it looks really tacky um, if you can actually see it. So I found that out with 
some of the other enclosures. Okay. And this is not like, I did not pre-plan this layout. I just grabbed a bunch of rock um, and I'm kind of just setting it in place as I go. I'm just grabbing a piece and going, oh, that could work right there. That could, that could, that could do. What if we set this right here? But if the branch is like that, then we could do that and set. And we're also gonna pack the front of this with uh, soil. So the problem where it's sitting right now is just, no, we're not gonna use that piece. What if we did a little piece and yeah, do a little piece. Doubt it's gonna touch that, but worth a shot. And then maybe this. I don't want to go too high because I don't want to block the uh, uh, the spigot up there. But I think I am gonna double up over here. do and I have I have plenty more of this stuff so I think we're gonna set that one right there now if you were building a being a pet store it's hard to build permanent scapes because animals are always changing I try to keep them looking close or uh, oh what's the word I'm looking for um, I'm trying to make it where multiple animals can live in this habitat, uh, but it just, it depends. It, it, it's hard to do sometimes. There, there's that piece. And then I think we're gonna do like, do we wanna do? Maybe a ledge or something. I am gonna shoot some hot glue and I can see it cracks and I wanna make sure that these two piles are connected. That way if the snake's on it, it doesn't shift at all. Um, like if they were to lean on this one, it doesn't flip forward. So, um, I don't know, do we wanna do it? I think we're gonna wait to put this one in until we actually get the plant in. Oh, let's see if I can not get hot glue all over my camera. So we're gonna set that. It's gonna go in timeout in the corner. We're gonna back you guys up so you can see. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab all the roots from this tree. Now, this is a ficus tree. I think what I might have to do is I might have to put some soil in there first. I apologize if you guys can't see. Um, This ficus tree is like half dead. So I'm kind of expecting it to die. But that doesn't hurt anything because I, I'm not really concerned about the greenery. I am consider or I want the branches from this ficus. So throw some soil back in here. This plant actually originally came from the Lichianus enclosure, but it got way too big. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, how do I wanna set this in here? 
Do I want to set it? I know you're seeing like nothing but. Oh, there we go. You're seeing nothing but plant. And you see how it's dying? It's shedding. So, what we're gonna do is I want that sandstone on top of there to, and I'll, I'll move you guys here in a second so you guys can see. You're not just like, I can only see the, the plant. I can't see anything else. You can see I got the plant in there, um, but we need to add some more soil. And I also need to pull out another hot stick or glue stick because I actually ran out. It's crazy how much glue you go through. Now, because this is up here, I'm going to hot glue it. Up to the side, this is just a Vision PVC. So, and then we're gonna cram some in there and then we're gonna shut this thing off and put it away. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to backfill this area because obviously we want the We want the roots covered. Now there's soil down below, but one of the biggest things for me is mimicking natural environments. So bull snakes come from like the grass plains and stuff like that. Obviously I am not going to try to grow grass in an enclosure, but I can do different ledges and grow moss or anubias or bartelli or something like that on it. So we actually have some moss right there. I'm just going to jam it underneath that ledge. So this, I know it looks like a bunch of a bit much because it kind of looks all over the place but I'm actually very pleased with it on how it turned out. Um, it'll take lots of watering. Let me actually grab some scissors because we need to trim the plant back so the door actually closes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, is this enclosure done, you may ask? No, it's not. Um, throw those in there because this is gonna be a bioactive enclosure, so I actually want the leaves to break down in there. Um, like I said, if... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Now the door will actually close. But that'll make an awesome piece. Um, this also gives the bull snake a place to hide underneath here. Um, but if you enjoy that, I know this ran a little long. Thanks for watching. Uh, stick around for part two. Uh, we will see you guys next time.